Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma bada habita fillah. The importance of tawakkul. Which as some of the ulama define it as. A tawakkul. Ittimad ala Allah. Wa fi'l asbab. That tawakkul is relying or putting one's trust completely in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making efforts, meaning making efforts to attain what you're trying to achieve. And as believers, we have to remind one another because the reminder, tanfa mu'mini. It benefits the believer. You know, we remind one another to have tawakkul uh, ala Allah Azza wa Jal. And from the fawa'id or benefits of the early scholars in this nation comes the statement of Imam al Maqrazi. Qala al Maqrazi. In his book, Tijreed Tawheed, Imam al maqrasi said, وَلَوْ تُوَقَّلَ الْعَبْدِ عَلَى اللَّهِ حَقَّ تُوَقَّلِهِ فِئِزَالَةِ الْجَبَلِ عَنْ مَكَانِهِ لِأَزَالَهُ A beautiful statement by Imam al maqrasi and very befitting in his book, Tijreed Tawheed. Because tawakkul, relying and putting your trust in Allah is a matter of ibadah in the heart. And it's a matter of manifesting tawheed that you truly believe Allah is going to help you in your affairs. And may Allah help us in our affairs and help us to remove those things and those barriers which hinder us from worshiping Him and Him alone, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Imam al-Makrasi said that if the servant relies or puts his trust completely in Allah, and he said, Tawakkal al-abd ala Allahi haqqa tawakkalihi. He said, with full tawakkal, with full reliance, with full trust, uh, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in removing a mountain in removing a mountain here we're at the base of a mountain all around us we have small mountains that if the servant put his trust fully in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove a mountain from its place or its position then it would it will be removed. Subhanallah. So this statement of Imam Makrasi shows us the importance of tawakkal ala Allah Azza wa Jal and that tawakkal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefits the believer and it can help you remove those obstacles in your life and it can help you attain your goals. So this is a reminder for myself, first and foremost, and my brothers and sisters, that whatever struggles that you may uh, be facing, whatever trials and tribulations that you have to deal with, that if you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, truly put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, putting your heart, that that's where you're, 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 you're confiding in Allah azza wa jal, and then making actions to attain those things, to achieve your goals, to achieve the success, to remove the sin, whatever you're trying to do, that Allah will make you successful in that. Because you're actualizing Tawheed. And a dhikr tanfal mu'mineen. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal. 
by all of his divine names and attributes to heal our hearts, to make us closer to him and not farther from him. And the last thing I want to remind my brothers and sisters of is the importance of dhikr. Is the importance of dhikr. Re remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as often as you can and read the Quran. This is advice to myself first, and then my brothers and sisters. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.